I would go off to the side, get both focused. Rain! Oh, and rain starts growling too, huh? Oh, yeah. I think it's good for the both of them though that you when you take the time to work with both like they both need to be patient because yeah. honestly the longer that you're sitting here working with Storm the more she's becoming like present with you instead of being out that way it's really good for them. Did Storm ever know a look command? That's something we should incorporate because we're always like Storm and she's like mm. yeah. you know it doesn't even care. So look this is something you would want to practice inside where she's not all consumed by everything. So I'm gonna hold this out here and tell her, look. <laughs> yes! So to get it, she has to break focus on the treat, look at me, then she gets it. So that will be a really good thing to incorporate. So go out, I would go off to the side, get both focus, rain! Oh, and rain starts growling too, huh? Oh, yeah. They both feed off of each other yeah. so much, yeah. So make sure when something like that happens, we'll go about how to prevent it, of course. But when something like that happens, you want to try to distance yourself. I think we talked about yeah. always move with your feet and not like jerks with your yeah. elbow. But make sure, see how worked up she still is. Yeah. Get her to sit, like, and focus on you. Like, always, any encounter with the dog is going to mean they have to look at you. Preferably, it's before they go up to the dog. But we're, if we're not at that level yet, even after all this happens, they're still going to look at you. And that's for two reasons that they always have to look so that they know when they see a dog you're always going to follow through with it and the faster they look at you the faster they can get what they want the second reason is because they're at such a heightened level especially rain after so you know where the self-control is yeah. looking at you they're up here when they see the dog they might simmer down a little bit but then that next dog that they see, they're already ramped up here. They're just gonna be reacting the whole time. So give them the fair chance to work through it, get them back down here to self-control. One thing I was gonna tell you with Rain too, to make sure that her butt stays sitting when you let go of the treat. Yeah. So if you tell her, Rain, sit. Yes. Ah. So she jumps up for it. It's ah. Good girl. That will make her hold it longer. Yeah. It's essentially she gets rewarded for jumping yeah. up and meeting you. And we want her to be able to hold it, chill out a little bit longer. Oh, here's a dog. Okay, this is good because they're at this distance away. So, the second Sea Storm's ears perked up, call her. So I'm gonna back up. Rain. Keep backing up. Sit. Rain. 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 Come on, you can do it. Let's go. <laughs> yes. Up. So I tell her yes when she's sitting. Yes. Good. There we go. Yes. So right when the ears perk up, you can tell when Storm is doing that. I didn't know if she was gonna react right away. Actually, let's walk back because the dog's right there. Rain, so right there, ears perked up. She ran at the dog. So if you call Storm right now. Stormy. As long as she'll look at you. Rain, oh, rain, girl, rain, hi, oh, sit. Yes. Good so when their girl. ears perk up, call their name once. So to speed this up, we're not anymore going to be like, storm, storm, storm. It's storm, look, rain, look, yes. As long as they look, we can stay here or work forward. If they're zoning out, not looking, it's immediate going back. Rain, yes. I would constantly be getting her to check in. Okay, so here's the thing. In a month, 
the protective instinct starts to kick in at eight to 10 months. And this barking will amplify and you'll have a mixture of negative and positive reacting, like you have a storm. Because if there's no self-control when she sees another dog right now, it's purely positive right now, but with the influence of storm and her protective instinct kicking in, you're gonna be in trouble. So you wanna make sure to curb this with her like right now. So if you have to take her on walks by herself, and Eric's at home with Storm. Rain! Yes! Good! Like she doesn't have to always sit, you know, just checking in with you. Just make sure you get her to check in. And we can talk about more proper leash stuff, obviously, but right now what's most important is just getting her to check in. Rain! Yes! Good! So from what I've seen, I feel like Storm's ears perk up first. Her barking is pretty instant. Yeah, she doesn't right have like a grace period like yeah. Storm does. So right away when Storm's ears go up, it's Storm, Rain, look. And if they don't look, back instantly. Like go back faster than you th you'd think to. Like even when I tell people that, it'll be like, Storm, look. And they still stand there. I'm like, back right away, oh, like yeah. in a second. Especially with Storm, if she doesn't look instantly, she doesn't plan on yeah. looking anytime yeah, like, soon, you know? So it's like, okay, right away, if you can't look at me, you don't get to see like what it is or you go further. Cause even though it may be negative to storm, that's the best reward to her is being able to judge the dog, see what it is. And obviously same thing with rain. Look how cute this is over here. And even when it's just, if you're walking the both of them, just getting rain to check in consistently should be a priority for sure. We won't go in, but it's a good place to work up to. Cause remember last time with Grizzly, we talked about like the stationary dogs. And although these dogs are moving, you control the distance up to them. And then doing like through the gate introductions is gr nothing is gonna happen through the gate. I would utilize this for sure. Yes, good girl. Green, green. Hi, Rain! Yes! Yes, good girl, Rain! Yes, Rain! Yes! Yes! Rain! Rain! Yes! So right there, when there's an instance that happens that's getting her so alert, she did like a little growl bark, yeah. maybe out of excitement for the kids, whatever. When it's going by, don't give her a second of mental freedom. Because yeah. you could see the second she looked back, I'm calling her like, Rain, hi, you might look like a crazy person outside. Yeah, but even giving her like three seconds, like when I tell people to do that, they're like, Rain. And then she looks out this way and starts barking yeah. again. So I'm like, don't even let her get to that point. Take away all of that. So she know this is the only thing she knows to do when something comes by that she yeah. wants to get to. And getting her focus right now is so easy yeah. and amazing. Don't take it for granted. Yeah. I'm sure you guys don't of all people that I know. know. You're like, no, do not get stubborn. <gasps> yes, good rain. Rain, yes, yes, good girl. Rain, look. Yes! Oops! Good girl! That was really good. That was the perfect state of mind for Rain to be in where if you let her mind go, she would have 100% focus over that way. But as long as you're on top of her, it's like hard for her to look, but she's yeah. following it. That's when you know she's in the perfect state of mind to be curving that realistic that you know because if like that dog was coming and i was just sitting there and she's sitting at me i know it's not really doing any like yeah. too much focus is great but you want her in that realistic state to be able to gain self-control when she doesn't want to look that was perfect so you want to find that distance with her and as long as you work at that distance like that that distance will decrease rain rain yes yes rain sit Rain! Hi! Oh, come on, you can do it! Hi! Oh, are you sitting? There we go. Here. Yes, good girl. Rain! 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 Yes! Oh, come on! Yes! Good, Rainy! Good girl.
girl. So she's in the most perfect stage to curb this. So I think it's so important when you guys are walking them separate that it goes just like that. As long as she's following the direction, it's okay, we can stay. But I knew that dog was coming, so I was like, oh, we gotta go this way, this way, this way, like really quick. And you can see her on a confused line. She's like, I wanna be part, like, what are you making me do? And like, she's following that direction so great right now. I think going down there and practicing, you'll get a little bit of everything. You'll get runners, you'll, and it's all about shifting their focus off of it. So I have to be like super hyper aware because. Like, you guys just gotta take out time and practice consistent. Yeah. Even if it's like five minutes going down there, it'll go so, so far. Practice, you guys got homework, okay? Okay, you're welcome. It was so good to see you guys. Of course. Yes. So good to see you. Where are you headed? We are headed back to the city now. Yep. Oh, and this is Julia. Yes. Okay, guys. We'll see you later. Bye.